take two. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review about this Dell G3 right here. Now, for three years, I have been editing on a potato laptop. I've been doing a ton of stuff. Like, I've been doing way too many stuff, like video editing and media consumption. And that laptop right there just doesn't cut it for me. So I decided to get a brand new laptop, which is this. This is the first video that you're seeing on the brand new laptop, so I think it is time for a quality change. Notice the difference? <laughs> the design itself is very nice overall, so let's get into the design. It is an all plastic chassis. Now that may sound bad, but the plastic is very rigid feeling and that is in fact a good thing. The whole computer weighs 5.18 pounds. Behind the computer, there is a very minimalist branding, but at the bottom, there is a big G3 logo, four light blue feet, and areas where the heat can escape, and also some stripes for the cherry on top. The lid, or I guess you can say the front of the computer, has the shiny blue Dell logo, bumpy plastic, and this specific design. The keyboard feels similar to my Asus X555Q or my old laptop, with a very tactile feedback and good travel. The volume or the amount of sound coming from the keyboard is not that much, so your typing is mostly quiet. Beside the keyboard, or I should say below it, is a touchpad or trackpad, or however you want to call it. The trackpad feels and tracks similar to a Chromebook, and the rough surface is not quite for me. Of course, when you're gaming or doing something productive, such as video editing and watching YouTube videos at home with a table, chances are you're going to be using a mouse, so it is perfectly acceptable to cut corners in terms of the trackpad. The screen on mine is 1080p 60Hz, mainly because I have the highest spec model from 2019. Currently, if you get the new highest spec 2020 model, it will have a 1080p 144Hz screen, which is better for gaming, but with a price to match. The screen itself, either in the 2018 to 2020 model, is pretty good. The screen is not that dull. It's not like the screen is black and white, and I'm looking at you, Dell G3 reviewers. <laughs> and it feels more calm and natural than your 2020 Dolby Vision 4K TV. Above the screen is the camera. It takes noisy, grainy photos and videos in the dark, and decent photos and videos with natural lighting. The audio is a little trebly. This is a camera test, and I really hope that it is actually good for narration. Speaking of audio, when you first take the laptop out of the box and play a song without changing any settings, the audio had lots of reverb, like I was in like I was in an empty house, like I had just moved in. And it also has a lot of treble, which was quite bothering me, almost like it has EQ. It turns out that reverb and treble enhancer is enabled in the Alienware software built in, but I feel like the reverb is meant to make you feel almost like you are in the moment during your game session. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, finally. Hey guys, so I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Please at least leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.